first component of my training will be on solar and hybrid storage. So people that are on the grid that are interested in energy storage. So in this sales training, first of all, let's look at what we know. We already know how to pitch and sell solar PV. We know the financial viability of solar power and the return on investment that's available there. We know what solar feed-in tariffs, or in most cases now, retailer feed-in tariffs are available, what STC values are, are available, and what ever-changing legislation is surrounding Grid Connect PV systems. What we want to learn, most people want to understand what is the financial viability of doing energy storage now for people that are on the grid? What technology combinations to offer the customers? And the best way to pitch and sell upgrades or complete systems. So energy storage, just have a look at the financial viability first. The return on investment at the moment for energy storage is currently lower than solar PV. Solar PV grid connect systems at the moment are often given a four to six year payback. So customers are achieving a 16 to 25% return on investment. So the purchasing decision at the moment for energy storage is more either emotionally driven or they actually have issues with their grid and have regular grid failures. So let's have a little bit of a look at a financial analysis of the difference in benefit you get uh, from just a standard grid connect system or incorporating energy storage to a grid connect system. So on the left column here, you'll see solar only. And I've used a five kilowatt system as the example here. So this five kilowatt system is generating 20 kilowatt hours of power a day. And in this example, this property is using 40% of that energy in the sunlight hours. So eight kilowatt hours of that power is getting consumed. And I've used an example here of 30 cents per kilowatt hour. That is circa the rate we're seeing on consumption uh, throughout Australia. So they're effectively getting a $2.40 benefit per day and $876 is reduced off their bill per annum by having uh, that consumption of solar energy. Now with this customer without energy storage, the other 12 kilowatt hours is going back to the grid. Most uh, retailer feed-in tariffs now are paying between six and 10 kilowatt hours per day. So I've used eight cents per kilowatt hour as the example here. So they're getting 96 cents per day credits their bill, total of $350 per annum, and they're getting $1,226 combined credit and savings to bill per year. Now, if we were to incorporate energy storage to that property, and it was a property that could consume the 12 kilowatt hours outside the sunlight hours before the, the sun came up the next day, this is an example of the total benefit that they could achieve. So they would still get the $876 reduced off their bill from the solar consumption, but the other 12 kilowatt hours would go into their storage system and be used overnight, and effectively they would not have to buy that power off the grid, again at 30 cents. So they would get a daily benefit of $3.60 per day, and $1,314 per annum. So their total benefit would be $2,190 per annum. So the annual benefit for that customer is higher. So if the customer is on a stable part of the grid, they have no emotional or personal reason to invest in energy storage at the moment, and they're purely buying on a return on investment, then you should be looking at those customers as a two-stage sale. Any standard PV sale at the moment should be part one of the sale. You need to be giving your customers a, net, a roadmap and a pathway to energy storage. So then you can achieve part two in the sale. What I recommend is you put in place a marketing strategy to send energy storage offers to your clients. So if you have a customer that only moves ahead with the Grid Connect solar system, at the moment due to those reason, reasons I just mentioned, you should be putting together a marketing strategy to continually send them offers as the technology improves and the pricing gets lower. You should reach out to old customers that were installed post feed-in tariffs or have had their feed-in tariffs expire due to uh, changing uh, the electricity name in some of the networks. And starting the dialogue now is very important. So upselling to a hybrid system, I think, is a very good way to look at these customers. If they're not interested in spending that additional capital cost to put in energy storage straight away, putting in one of these hybrid inverters is a very good way to have them genuinely hybrid ready 
and therefore they're going to be looking to you uh, when they want to invest in the batteries and it will be a very quick plug and play in a lot of examples. The cost we're seeing people charge extra for these hybrid inverters is around $1,000, uh, give or take depending on the technology. So always providing the current price for battery component of the sale I think is very important. Even if they're not moving ahead right now, if they see the capital cost of doing the storage as a certain amount today, and then over the next month and years, you continue to give them offers of energy storage, and they see that technology improve or get cheaper, then you will look at landing that sale, that second part of the sale.